even though it's been really cold, February is the month of love for skunks. <laughs> hmm, that means your chances of an encounter of the smelly kind are on the increase. <laughs> so you're cold and stinky. News 8's Jack Hubley has tonight's wild moment. Well, it certainly is winter. Time to throttle back, save energy, and wait out the bitter weather. So, what can those skunks be thinking? That's what Tracy Martin wants to know. She writes, I smelled a skunk. It's February and eight degrees. What are they doing out now? Tracy's skunks do not hibernate, but they do spend weeks in snug underground dens during periods of harsh winter weather. But as with many organisms, plants and animals alike, changes in the photo period, the amount of daylight, trigger changes in the skunk's body. And as the days lengthen during midwinter, the skunk's hormones start moaning. Regardless of temperature, from about mid February to mid March, female striped skunks start coming into heat. Their breeding condition lasts only about four to five days, so there's no time to lose. Frigid weather or not, male skunks are on the march, going den to den in search of eligible female skunks. And here in the Susquehanna Valley, if you're a skunk on the march, it won't be long before you're marching across a busy road. All too frequently, ending your career as a professional skunk. The lucky few might find a crossing guard, but many, as you know, end up as roadside rugs. If you're wondering about Skippy here, he's my captive bred skunk who was neutered at an early age, so he doesn't have any interest in making more skunks. His lifestyle might seem like a downer to the wild, free spirited skunks out there, but on the plus side, it has certainly increased his life expectancy. I'm Jack Hubley, News 8. Litters of up to six baby skunks are born in April or May. In about three weeks, they're capable of spraying. If you have a wildlife question for Jack, email it to news8 at wgal.com and you may see, hear, or even smell your answer on the air.